Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you're doing well. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. An Atlantic spin-up is possible. There could be some development out there in the Atlantic. Sometimes th this happens this time of year. I want to show you why, kind of what it means for down the road. And what we have is these big fronts that are rolling by. We have a leftover front in the Caribbean. That's front number two. Front number two, the Atlantic region of Canada, northeast of the U.S. A lot of snow that's been pulling into spots, cold air. Another front moving by. And this time of year, even though we're out of the hurricane season, they could leave leftover moisture in parts of the Atlantic. And that's where sometimes, usually every other December or a little bit uh, even uh, more rare than uh, that, uh, uh, we get something trying to spin up in the uh, tropics. Now, it's not going to be truly tropical in nature. Could it become a name system? Yeah, but uh, it's most likely some sort of subtropical system. Uh, there's a lot of science behind that, but uh, uh, basically not truly uh, tropical uh, in nature. But let me show you where we could get this spin up. Let's go out in time here. This is by Monday. By Monday, another front's going to be working its way off the Atlantic region of Canada, back through the United States and the Gulf. Now these other fronts that I move by leave a little moisture behind. Look at that spot right there. So here we are in the Caribbean. You can see that green right there in the Atlantic. That's the spot to watch for the possibility of some development. So this is by early next week. Let's go out in time further. This here is the American model. I wanna show you the European model and the environmental conditions in just a moment. By Wednesday of next week, so we're looking at about six days from now, look at all that moisture. Here's Bermuda, just to the east or southeast of Bermuda. That's where there could be something, some sort of storm system, subtropical in nature, trying to develop. Now, there should be another front coming across. You see here, by the time we get deeper into next week, this is over a week from now, another front starts to move across the western Atlantic, and it may take this spin and kind of lift it up to the north. Now, if this area does develop some, again, here we are in the Caribbean, Bahamas right here, if this area does develop, it should be kind of broad in nature. It's not going to be a, a hurricane or anything like that, uh, but a, even if it did become a subtropical storm, that just means kind of a broader wind field on this some gusty winds, some high seas in the Atlantic. Then there'll be colder air again sweeping behind this front. But if this front is a little slower, this area may drift a little bit more toward the west, and that could increase our chance of some gustier winds in the Caribbean and maybe even increase our chance of some rain by the time we get into the end of next week. Now, here's the European model. The Canadian and even the German models are showing a similar spin in the Atlantic. So here's one front right here. Here's the other front. We we have across the uh, Caribbean. There's that extra rain, which we've been watching in Central America. I'll zoom down uh, into that in just a moment with those rain totals. But here's that European model. So here we are in Jamaica, down through Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, Puerto Rico, just to orient you. Let's go out in time here. This is a week from now. This is by uh, late next Wednesday and early Thursday of next week. Here comes that other front right here. This one's gonna be a really strong front moving through the U.S. toward the Bahamas and the Caribbean. But there's that green on the map right there. There is that spin. And for the most part, should be off to the uh, east of us. But if this front slows down, that spin, that storm system could kind of drift our way. The European model has it closer. So this here would be by the end of next week. So this here would be seven, eight days from now. And you can see very similar, though, to the American model, right? Here comes that front. This front may be a little bit slower. A lot of cold air back behind it moving in. And we'll highlight that further in upcoming videos. Uh, the Christmas winds moving in for more of us. But that spin, you can see it building closer to the Caribbean by late next week. And it may actually enhance our chance of rain in the northeastern Caribbean and give us those higher seas. And then eventually, by next weekend, this front should move in and kind of draw whatever this area is up to the north. So what we're going to do over the next few days, and I'll update you, is just kind of monitor how close the storm system could get. Don't expect it to be a really a big impact system or anything like that. Yeah, but it may bring us, as I mentioned, some additional rain if it gets close enough and some gustier winds later next week. But either way, the, the seas are really going to build with this kind of broad area, just big area of low pressure out here. Low pressure meaning a storm system out here. Here's Bermuda. And then I'll watch out how close it does get to uh, Bermuda too. So we've got some stuff to attract as we go forward. Now the water temperatures uh, in the Caribbean, still relatively warm, 28, 29, even pushing 30 degrees Celsius in spots. So when where from about 
84 to 87 degrees Fahrenheit as a whole. Other spots a little warmer, other spots a little bit cooler. We've cooled down in the uh, Western Atlantic and in the Gulf of Mexico, uh, big time, especially closer to the coastline. Those water temperatures have really dropped. Uh, a lot of them in the 60s, uh, at least uh, Fahrenheit, uh, 26, uh, maybe uh, 24, 25 degrees uh, Celsius. But out here in the open waters of the Atlantic, the numbers are running above average. This here is uh, the water versus kind of uh, the water temps versus average. Anywhere where you see this uh, red shading or kind of orangey and yellow shading, which is most of us Atlantic Caribbean and the Gulf, those are above average water temperatures. Now, that doesn't mean this spin is going to uh, develop into a hurricane, but with these above average water temperatures, that can add a little more fuel. And that's why I do believe there is the possibility that this does become a subtropical uh, system just because the water temperatures are running a little bit above average, may add a little bit more fuel to this uh, and kind of allow it to, to spin a little bit more, uh, if you will. So if this does eventually get a name, again, it is not likely, uh, but occasionally get something out there in the Atlantic in December, even in January, sometimes that happens. That happened a couple of years ago. Uh, Tony would be the next name on the list. So maybe subtropical storm Tony, not likely, uh, looks like, well, end out uh, the year on uh, Sarah, but if it if we do get some kind of rogue system out there, uh, Tony would be the next name on the list. Now, the hurricane season ended at the end of November, but we keep the same list through the end of the year. January 1st, that's when the new list kicks in, and then the hurricane season starts June 1st of next year. So the list stays the same all the way through the calendar year. Now, we have that front across the Caribbean. There's still some of that rain. We've had those areas of rain just very unsettled across Central America, Honduras, over toward parts of uh, Nicaragua. Here's the front. That could give us a couple spotty showers. More though, Honduras and Nicaragua and watching our islands just offshore. And then as we work our way into the Eastern Caribbean, it's not going to be a washout for us, but every now and then some of our islands could get some rain. We could get some of those passing showers just with that easterly flow. This here is tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon. There's that front, but there's a little bit of that green. You see some of us could get some of those passing showers, St. Vincent the Grenadines, even up towards St. Kitts and Nevis in that front just kind of lingering, giving us those spotty showers, Turks and Caicos, Jamaica, parts of Cuba, Haiti, Dominican Republic. Still the uh, higher chance of rain overall, Nicaragua and Honduras watching out for the flood threat, and that generally holds into Saturday. Saturday, I'll monitor how close some of this rain gets to Belize, spotty showers elsewhere, and there we go, Barbados, St. Lucia, Dominica. We could get a couple of those scattered showers down through Grenada, St. Vincent, and the uh, Grenadines, just with that easterly breeze that will be with us. Now, the seas are going to stay on the choppy side. That is common for this time of year through the Caribbean, really building with that next system that's moving off the coast of the United States that's moving off right now. Very dangerous seas uh, near Bermuda over the next couple of days. This is by tomorrow across the Caribbean to maybe three meters. So uh, looking at five, six, seven feet could be a little bit higher in some spots. And this here is by the weekend. So monitoring uh, those waters a little bit tricky this time of year, trying to do some sailing, kind of getting in between uh, some of these uh, fronts to try to find some uh, settled waters. Now here's that front in the Atlantic region of Canada. This is one of those fronts that's going to leave that leftover moisture. And then we'll watch out to see if that Atlantic uh, spin, that Atlantic system does happen as we get into uh, next week. You can see some of the rain at times passing through Bermuda and of course watching it passing through Newfoundland back toward New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island, Nova Scotia, and then coming right out of uh, Quebec, that cold weather back behind it. Huge lake effect snow has been an issue in some spots and still even as we work our way into Saturday, watching out just with that strong northwesterly flow and some leftover moisture, some leftover snow will be a possibility as we head into the weekend. But here's that front lingering here. So some spotty showers possible, extreme southern Bahamas, Turks and Caicos. We may get an inch or 25 millimeters of rain. If we get a couple of repeat showers, could be a little bit more. Watching out for a couple of the spotty showers. Jamaica, mainly dry for us in the Cayman Islands. Best chance of getting any rain in Haiti would be Port-au-Prince to the north. Dominican Republic as well, north side, better chance of rain just closer to the front. But you see the blues on the map 
And that's telling me our rain chance is not too high. And if we do get a shower, maybe a quarter to half of an inch of rain, 10 millimeters of rain in some locations. But I showed you that easterly flow. You see a little bit of the way of pink and purple popping up. That's that moisture that's going to build in from the east to the west. So we could get a couple spots getting 50 millimeters of rain or two inches of rain. Not many of us, but a few of us as we work our way uh, into uh, the end of the week, through the end of the week, into the weekend. Guyana, Suriname, that rain chance has gone down. But there are those higher totals. The models are trying to put out a lot of rain the next few days in Honduras. Now, I've been highlighting this, I think, for about seven, eight days. So you're well prepared for the possibility of flooding. I've been watching that in Honduras and Nicaragua, Nicaragua, even parts of Costa Rica. And I've been highlighting that it's closer to the water where we'll see some of those higher totals of over 100 millimeters of rain or four inches of rain. And some of this could nudge close to Belize, but staying generally just off to our southeast. And with fronts moving by, Texas and New Mexico could see a little bit of rain. So about a 50% chance for us today in Jamaica, a 40% chance tomorrow, back to a 50% chance on Saturday. So some of us stay dry. Others, we get some scattered showers. Cayman Islands, though, were generally dry. Rain chance 10 to 20 percent. 20 percent chance today, Trinidad and Tobago with an easterly breeze. 30 to 40 percent chance as we get into the uh, weekend. 30 to 40 percent chance the next few days in Barbados. Tomorrow and Saturday, rain chance will be up to 40 percent. In isolated showers possible in St. Lucia the next few days into the upcoming weekend. Rain chance 30 percent today in Grenada. A 40 percent chance tomorrow. A St. Vincent and the Grenadines. 30 percent chance today. Tomorrow into the weekend a 40% chance of some spotty showers. Rain chance in Martinique the next three days at 40%. 40% as well in the Dominican Republic and, or excuse me, in Dominica. And we're going to see some gusty winds at times. 40% chance of rain Guadalupe over the next uh, couple of days. 40% chance Antigua and Barbuda today. 20% chance for tomorrow. 40% chance today St. Kitts, Nevis, and Montserrat. Isolated shower, one or two possible tomorrow in through the upcoming weekend. 20 to 30% chance into the upcoming weekend, Anguilla and St. Bart's. Rain chance holding at 30%. St. Martin, St. Bonstasia today, tomorrow, and Saturday, and a 20 to 30% chance of an isolated shower in Puerto Rico. Some of us need to get some rain. We do that again, U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Rain chance today, 30%. Just a 20% chance of a passing shower tomorrow, but a lot of us deal with some windy weather. Bahamas were mainly dry. We get back through the Turks and Caicos, could get a couple of those showers with that front. Now in the Dominican Republic, uh, northern sections, better chance of rain. Same thing in Haiti. Northern sections, better chance of rain, about a 20 to 30% chance. 20% chance today in Belize. Up to a 40% chance, though, on Saturday. Some of that moisture near Honduras will start to work in to our southern zones. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire, we may get a passing shower. Let me know in the uh, comments, but the rain chance is not super high. And the rain chance has gone down in Guyana. It's also gone down in Suriname. That rain chance very minimal. A lot of us staying dry as we get into the upcoming weekend. Cuba, we've had some of those cool nights, those cooler days, and we've been drier. Rain chance 40 to 50%. Costa Rica and Panama, a little higher though as we get back toward Nicaragua and in Honduras and monitoring the chances of flooding all the way into the upcoming weekend. Guatemala and El Salvador, rain chance 20% today, 30% chance tomorrow, mainly dry right across Mexico City. We're mainly dry across the Yucatan Peninsula of uh, Mexico and a 30% chance of rain in Northern Colombia, 20 to 30% chance the next three days in Northern Venezuela. And just watching that next front moving into Bermuda, that'll sweep through that chance of some rain showers, gusty winds and those higher seas. So in Central America, Honduras and Nicaragua, watching that flood chance, tracking these two fronts, one in the Caribbean, one to the north, and then eventually in the Atlantic, we could see something trying to develop at the least, some gustier winds, higher seas, and they'll monitor how close that storm system gets to the Caribbean as we go forward. Thank you for being with me, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.